today's video is college advice. I have not made not one new friend in college. And my roommate, on the other hand, she was trifling too. And one thing I'm not going to do is get shot up at a party full of kids. All my friends are friends from freaking elementary school. Literally. It's not. Don't do it. It's torture. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Daddy, face the pink. All of the bodies is pretty damn. All of the bodies is bad. It's the girls, and we ain't playing tag. Red. Hey y'all, it's Shamari Renee, and I'm here with the sit down video, which is not normal. But today's video is college advice. Yes. To you people out there that's about to go to college fall of 2024, you're about to get advice from a senior in college. I graduate this December. But yeah, it's a lot. I mean, roommates, your major, friends, like food, all of that, dorms, all of that. I don't even know where to start, but we're going to start somewhere. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please what are y'all doing? Why y'all ain't subscribed? Y'all must want to fight. I mean, because I'm ready at all times, okay? But yeah, we're going to get into this video, and y'all better subscribe first. I'm going to give y'all like 10 seconds. start off with your major like what major you want to pick so I went into college knowing what I wanted to do already and you like when you go you get like an advisor I don't know it's like that person you meet with to make your first schedule and so you tell them what you want I was like nursing school oh it's gonna get really deep in a second so I was like nursing school so that's how I already knew my major um, I know that some people go in not knowing what they want to do, and that's okay. Like, seriously, it's okay. Like, that's your freshman year, like, you just, like, I don't know. You try to, like, figure out what you want to do, but I think that by the end of your freshman year, or, like, the second semester, you should, like, try and, like, Hurry and not hurry, but like try and pick something that you want, unless you want to be there like extremely long. But um, I went in knowing what I wanted to do already it was nursing school, so I did all my general eds. I didn't have much to do because I did um, what do you call it, dual enrollment in high school. But I did my gen eds, and then um, I think it was my s I don't remember what I don't know if it was the second semester of. I think for me it was my second semester of freshman um, year because I had already took dual enrollment. So that's when I started my classes that connect with nursing school. So it was like anatomy and like, um, what is it? Terminology, all of that. So I did all that, y'all. Um, but then later on, um, I got ac accepted into nursing school my sophomore year. And I went for literally like two three months and I dropped out I dropped out I got accepted I went in I dropped out it wasn't for me and then I decided to do another major and it's healthcare leadership and health studies and I'm graduating early so like I said you're good you'll be good you'll be good um I don't know what much to talk about with y'all. I just cut my oh my, I cut me some bangs. So please, cut me some slack if I keep moving them. Cause I don't know what I'm. <laughs> please wait. Hold on, let me fix these. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, don't stress yourself over your major. But, like, one thing about if you're, like, changing your major, like, a little late, you're going to graduate late. Because if it's not close to, like, what classes you took already, just say, for me, how I'm not graduating late even though I dropped out of nursing school. It's because I'm still in, like, the healthcare field. So, my, 
anatomy classes, all of that, it carry over to my next major. So I didn't have to take any extra classes. So basically, I didn't waste my time. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, that's for your major. Um, friends. Now, I'm a senior, and I have not made not one new friend in college. All my friends are friends from freaking elementary school. Literally. Elementary school. Friends that I met when I was like 10, 11, 12, 13. Literally. Like, those are my friends right now. So, it just depends on the person. Like, if you're outgoing and, I don't know. It's just different in college anyway. Because when you go there, everybody already have their, like, little group or whatever. Um... I, I was already friends with people I knew, um, but I really wanted new friends because, I mean, you want new friends, and I just didn't get that. And, like, a good way of getting new friends is, like, being in organizations and stuff like that. I was in organizations and still don't have new friends, so it just depends. Like, some of y'all might get groovy with it, get new friends, and some of us just don't, like... I'm a senior and I don't have new college friends. Everybody I've been known for years. And I'm lucky for that. Um, but yeah. What is next? Um, the food. So if you live on campus or you're like you don't live in that state or whatever and you worry about like I guess campus food. I never really ate our campus food. I think the only time I ate our campus food was, um, like from the campus cafeteria. Cafeteria, girl, what? Cafeteria was on um, orientation day, and I'm not a cafeteria food girly. And only thing I liked there was the ice cream, but everybody is different. Um, but I'm just not. Mm, but it just depends on who you are. But, like, my campus got Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, and, like, they make you pay $300. They put $300 in your balance so that you will, like, I guess have money to get food. So, like, with my campus car, I was able to go to Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Steak and Shake, and whatever else they have on their campus. So, it wasn't that bad for me when I was in the dorms. And also, like, I went home every weekend because... Um, I just didn't like dorms. Um, I like being home. So I like get home cooked food and take it to my dorm. So I was eating good. Like, um, so when I was, I guess we can get into the dorm stuff. When I was in my dorm, I even cooked shrimp. Like I was cooking shrimp. That was it really. I had noodles. What else I had? I had pot stickers like burritos and stuff like that but most of the time I was at Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and I had food from home so I was, I was eating good in college so I'm a lucky lucky girl okay but I know some people just they can't go home and ask their parents to cook a meal and then bring it with them so especially like what if you're in like one of them campuses that's like in the middle of nowhere and you gotta drive forever like what if you don't have a car right so you have to eat on campus if but i mean it is what it is when it comes to that i guess um next is dorms and roommates so my first year there like i literally live 30 minutes from the school but it's convenient to stay on campus because you can just walk to your classes and i had a truck i have a jeep and i got it for i got it in high school for graduation but i was too scared to drive so i didn't have my driver's license so i stayed on campus for two years on my first year i stayed in the freshman dorm it was good for a second um later on i had got a roommate and we're gonna talk about that in another video but yeah, I had got a roommate. Um, I had got a roommate and um, I forgot what I was going to say. I got a roommate 
And like some of the people in that hall like didn't know how to clean up after they self. It was messy. The hallway was stinking. All of that. And my roommate on the other hand, she was trifling too. But we're going to talk about that in another video. But it all depends on like, just say you got into college and you want to move in with your friend. Good. But don't get no room. Like I was supposed to get a single, but they didn't have any more. So I just said, you know what? Just get in a dorm with another person. But when I got there, there was no person. It was a month. Like a month went by. And like I walked in my room one day and there was just stuff on the other side. And she in fact was disgusted. But we'll talk about that in another video. But I think you're good as long as like it's either you're lucky with a random person or you're good if you move in with your friend. So the second year I moved um me and my friend got a dorm and then she had moved out and then I had got a random roommate, but luckily she was a good roommate. Um, everything was good. So, it just depends on that half. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about my roommate horror story in another video. I'll do a story time after this video. Actually, I might do it. No, I'm not going to do it today because i got to work soon. i got about an hour, though. I don't know. I might do it another day. Might not. I don't know. Um, what else? Um, Parties. I never been to a party. I don't do the party and I don't do the drinking. I don't do the any substance. So, um, I don't know. I always seen the parties on social media and I live in Memphis. So I wasn't gonna go to no party no way. I wasn't gonna go to no party no way because it's Memphis. Anything happened in Memphis. They shoot them up around here. Like no matter where you at. And one thing I'm not going to do is get shot up at a party full of kids. No. So, I just never been to a party. I never did none of that. Another thing I want to teach y'all, for real. Um, classes. Make sure you go to um, Rate My Professor when it's time for you to register for your classes. Okay? And, like, just read all the comments and stuff. Choose wisely for your times. Do not choose no 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning class. Because this is not the same as high schools, like getting up in the morning. It's not. Don't do it. It's torture. That one thing I learned, I learned it my first year. I did. It's the worst. Especially if it's a lecture. Don't do it. And like, sometimes it would take me like t about 20 minutes to walk to class. So like just... Think about all of that. Like, when you choose your classes, make sure you got a good professor. Because, y'all, this year, I'm, I'm a Dean's List student, by the way. Dean's List student. Um, <clears throat> about a month ago, um, that's another thing. When you have an exam, take it, like, the day before. Do not take it on the day of. Because, y'all, my class, I'm used to her. The class, the um, exams being due at eleven fifty nine, it's like so much stuff, so you can, like get confused, and like everything is color coordinated, but some of the stuff is like very close in color. So on the day of, I took it at eleven, y'all, because I was still doing other work. So my dumb self decided to take the exam last. The exam was due at eleven instead of eleven fifty nine. So I started at like ten fifty, I think. Yeah, it was like 10.50, thinking, I, okay, it's due at 11.59. No. I go on there and say, um, time, you will not get the full duration exam due at 11. Y'all, I just cried. And I tried to hurry up and do it. It was like, I think it was 75 questions. And I really thought I was going to be able to do that in 10 minutes. No. So I emailed the teacher. This is a teacher I had two semesters in a row. Never, ever made this mistake ever, ever, ever in, like, my whole college time. So I emailed her and told her what happened. And she did not answer. She didn't answer. So, I mean, like, some professors, they'll let you do that. Because I know they will. Like, I, um... 
didn't take a quiz. And I emailed the professor and she said she'll open it for me. But this one, oh no, no. It took my grade down. So like, be careful with that because I'm telling you now, this was my first time ever making that mistake and now I'll never do it again. Never do it again. But yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I guess I'll tell y'all about like my college experience. Um, I went there. I was in dorms. Um, all I did was go to class and hang out with my old friends. Um, I didn't make friends. Um, I later got into organizations. Just like one, I think. One, two, I tried to do some things. Um, in those organizations, didn't really have no new friends or nothing like that. Um, yeah, I went to nursing school, dropped out. Now, I think... That was last year, by the way. At this time last year, I dropped out, started a new major. And, yeah, I made things list. I didn't party. I mean, I just have fun with, like, my own... I don't know. Just be yourself. Don't be... I don't know. I will say don't be buck wild, please. Because, I don't know. Just focus. I guess it depends on who you are but yeah I didn't really do much college at college um I just did my work hung out on campus I didn't do much no parties nothing like that um I'm not in a sorority or anything I'm not gonna speak on that by the way because I'm thinking um but yeah Changed my major and now I'm graduating this fall. Um, but yeah. In the comments down below, comment like what year you are in college, if you're about to go to college for the first time, what you want your major to be, what you're interested in, and all of that. Um, stay tuned for the horse um roommate horror story because insane like I got pictures and everything so stay tuned for that um make sure you like comment and subscribe and just comment what you like most excited for for college and what you're scared for in college and maybe I can do another video if there's enough comments y'all better subscribe I'm so serious like I'm laid back right now subscribe and I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. For real. I got two videos coming out this week. This video will be posted tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then my other video might be posted on Saturday. Okay? Not even. Maybe Friday. I don't know. But I need y'all to stay tuned because I'm trying to post twice a week instead of once a week. And if y'all playing, I'm going to play too. So, subscribe. I'm not playing. Like I said. And I got the bang yang. And I don't know how I feel about it. Because I just cut them last night. I took my knotless braids out. This is your part wig, by the way. Um, I cut. Y'all, I cut all my hair off. Not really. But, it's like. it's. I cut it to a bob. The first time. And then, it grew like right here. Then I cut it back. So, all my curls are back now. Um... But they're going to be in the U part for a while because I'm not comfortable with short hair. So, yeah. How did I get to that? I don't know. But, ooh, don't do that. I'm just trying to get used to this, y'all. I'm going to drive like this. But, yeah. Stay tuned for a lot of stuff because something is happening to my truck. And I want y'all to come along for it because it's going to be. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.